welcome to uh, the Pokemon X and Y discussion. I'll let um, Stupid Genius 55 start off. Hello. Oh, thanks. I, was, I did a video a while back called Pokemon X and Y, like my wish list. The three things, the wishes, I basically put on there just to sum up. Changing, like, the formula around, which it seemed to be doing. Uh, making improvements on the current formula. And being not as self-contained. Like, they should maybe feature more characters than previous games. You know? Yeah. I know what you mean, because um, if you've played our Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, yes, you will yes. know that um, Fantina is French, and she did mention that um, she comes from a faraway region, so uh, maybe we could be expecting to see her in this region. Maybe. It should be noted, though, that in the original Japanese one and in the uh, French versions of the game, she actually speaks... Well, like, she actually has some gratuitous English instead of the gratuitous French that she has in the other versions of the game. Yeah, because, um, yeah, it would make a lot of sense, because, um, yeah, and I'd like to see some older characters, like Cynthia, or a Red yes. Return. Red? Definitely red. those. Oh, yeah, yeah those I said Red. Yeah. I'll yeah, admit, the... Black 2 and White 2 did a good job with including the other ones. Yeah, I I'm... did, I enjoyed the remixes in Black and White 2, they would be yes. so Oh my goodness, because I was such a big fan of music. Uh, just hearing that, I didn't know if they'd include all the music when I when the game came out, so when I had it, like, oh my goodness, listening to it on YouTube was just... Yeah, I... Time. Yeah, I think, apparently, by lots of people's standards, apparently they showed a little bit of the soundtrack at E3. Of course, I didn't go, because, yeah, I... Yeah, but um, apparently, I from what people have said, the soundtrack sounds pretty good. Oh. So I, I, so there'll probably be some really good soundtracks because I mean that's like one of the best, one of the best things well, in about Pokemon. Two or X and y. Oh, sorry. Um, but... Oh yeah. Um, I'm talking about X and Y, but like the three day, um, just they showed off a bit of the soundtrack and people were saying it looks, it sounds really good. So I'm really excited on what the soundtrack will sound like. I already like like the main theme that they've been showing in the trailers, like the um, yeah, the intro theme. Oh yeah, I, I, that's the only one I've actually heard. I I didn't know if they had like music at e th at the Pokemon music at the E3. Yikes! I should have. Yeah, because um, this one. guy. I just watched yeah, their Nintendo Direct thing. That's all I yeah. watched. Because uh, this guy, this guy at the round table was demoing uh like sky battles and stuff, and I could. Make out a bit of the music, oh, but I couldn't really get, like, a full, like, I couldn't, like, hear it properly because they were talking over it. If they yeah. haven't been talking over it, I might have, like, been out of listen, but I, I can't wait for, the, like, the soundtracks because, I mean, yeah. But one of the features that I do want them to come back is the secret bases. Yes, you mentioned that before in our little yeah. chats. But not that this, to the viewer that means nothing, so I better not. Sorry. Yeah, but... I... Yeah, I, I, I don't know why, I just, I just love the secret bases, they were brilliant in Ruby and Sapphire. To be honest, I've never tried them, but I guess I will just to see what all the fuss is about. I, I, the only thing I do know about them is that you can, it's actually possible to get trainers that have the teams of, like, people you've, you know, interacted with in multiplayer, and have them yeah. CPU controlled. I want them to bring back that too, for some reason, I don't know. Mm. But I'm very excited about uh, the PSS. What do you think of the PSS? Looks good. I don't quite remember yeah. what the difference between the friends and acquaintances in that last category was. Like, what are those differences again? Uh, the they were the passerbys. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that last so, one. So yeah, that's gonna be um like, cause they're gonna you make use of spot pass and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, street pass and spot pass. That's where I discovered actually that the customize customization was. Act that before then, I actually didn't realize the customization was much more deeper than just changing the skin tone and the hair color. Which yeah. Which is really good, it's... in my opinion, that they have this customization now. Yeah, they're, they're apparently, they're going to make it so you can, like, buy new outfits and accessories. Ah, okay. And you can change your hairstyle as well. I guess that fits into my second wish category of improving on the current formula. Yeah. I know, or maybe that'd be wish bit... one. I, I can't tell which. Yeah. What do you think of the new um, Sky Battles? Uh, do you like them? Do you not like them? Um, I think they're good, and I'm glad they're optional. At first, I thought they wouldn't be optional, which... Yeah, because <coughs> the, trainer, the trainers say, 
careful Sky Battle with Sky Trainer, yeah, I and know. it has a little menu saying yes or no. Oh, so good, that's yes. good. I know because but, like at first I was like, oh, I have to bring, I have to always have a flying type or a levitate, you know, ability. Mm. But thankfully, if that's not the case, it sounds yeah. good aesthetic wise. They've not actually mentioned like if it's like if it's like um um I apologize. Let me just uh I'm just changing my status. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, because um lots of the bleeping noises. Oh, um, sorry. But um yeah uh so yeah there's gonna be a lot of new like stuff and I'm I'm pretty excited. I mean. Maybe Sky Battles might, some of them what you might need to do, maybe like to get onto an, maybe a, so maybe an exclusive area or. Yeah, but maybe just. A, to, yeah, no, maybe have, a certain cave. Because, I mean, they've I done that before. Yeah. And what do you think about having four rivals? I must admit, in real life, I tend to prefer, you know, like having a smaller social circle than a larger one, which they seem to be going for. But I'm not quite sure if that will be the same case, if that'll be a case for an audience surrogate, like, in the story, so. And I must admit, I do see some people claiming that perhaps they're not all rivals, which yeah, could be true, I think, but... Yeah, I think the two of them might be rivals. It has been confirmed that Caleb or, uh, or Serena, depending on the gender you pick, will be your main rival, but I think they're gonna maybe make a second rival out of the four. Uh, maybe like I think Trevor should be a rival since he, yeah. see, since it did say he's very competitive and he wants to complete the Pokedex, and that really does fill in like rival, rival. criteria. Yes, I must, I should probably mention though that I remember at the round table I think one of our quotes is that you will have many rivals. And if, they're yeah. talk, if by rivals they mean the same thing that we're thinking of, like the character that battles you multiple times then that's very likely that all four will be full-fledged rivals. But perhaps by rivals, they just mean yeah. they have a lot of competition but from people. Maybe, maybe the other two might be toned down a little bit. Yeah. You, know? you won't battle them as much as if, like, you were just, like, yeah. Yeah, they so, seem a bit less threatening. They both seem to be a bit more personality-wise. They seem a bit more people-oriented. Yeah. So, yeah, and, um, I mean... Basically, like you got a uh, Teruno uh, who's gonna he wants to be a Pokemon dancer and yeah that, uh... yeah and then you've got um you got Shauna which um looks like a mix of Hilda and Rosa yeah um but, I mean clothes Hilda Rosa kind of hairstyle yeah and yeah she does I actually mean... seem and she like she likes to like see what her friends are up to and stuff. And then you got like Serena or Caleb. They're now, like those the passionate are, leader, yeah, kind of like they them. want to like be the strongest trainer out of the group, and they want to like beat you in battle and stuff like that. So that we're getting good. we're definitely getting like Ruby and Sapphire based like rivals since like Ruby and Sapphire you have Brendan or May. Yeah, depending on the gym. Uh, Shows. But I, I like how the rival actually doesn't wear that hat, which is yes. kind of nice. Distinguishing. So if you don't like the hat, well, at some point in the game, you can actually take it off. <laughs> Good. I actually like their hats. Um, I know, the baseball caps kind of thing. I, I, I remember it became so iconic of the trainers that that's the reason N was given a ball cap <laughs> in black and white. At least that's what I hear. That's what I hear. Yeah, but... um. Yeah, and then they, then they, um, more like, they made, like, Nate and Rosa have more, like, tennis caps. Oh, yeah, like, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. Which I, I did like that idea. They, they seem like, like, they seem like proper, like, ten-year-olds, you know, all yeah. scruffy and yes. ready for an adventure. The others did look very older yeah. than they. Yeah. Is it just me, or do these characters look very French in this generation? I mean, I mean, I honestly, like... Oh. I, I, that didn't, uh, I honestly didn't see that in the characters. They don't look... That in a way, because, I mean, the hat of the boy trainer looks kind of French in oh, a way. Right. Cause it's very tall, and they have, like, those kind of hats in France. Ah, I see. I like the fact that he has sunglasses, you know, that... That proves that, yeah, and he kind of reminds me of James in a way. I mean, he's got the long hair, he's got... 
Oh, from the from the Team Rocket. Yes, uh, for a second there, yeah. I didn't know it, James. He does. Mm. I, he kind of does actually. Come to think, mm. I didn't notice that. Yeah. Yeah, but um, he's very he remind he's like a mix of Nate and Hilbert from the fifth gen. Ah, just like. I mean, his his artwork looks similar to Nate's. You know where he's holding onto his backpack. Yeah. In fact, uh, when the when the trailer first came out for X and Y, I assumed that he was either Hilbert or Nate. Like, like I before they showed the starters, I assumed that it would be like a three D RPG of the the fifth gen, you know, games. Yeah, maybe Pokemon Black and White three. <laughs> well, not not three, but like, well, I guess it would have been yeah. a good name for it. But like, I thought it would have been a, just a three D RPG that would still be in yeah. fifth gen before that because he looks so similar to Hilbert. I assume. Yeah, people thought it was going to be. Um, RC remakes? Yeah, that. Some I, yeah. I think there are a few people who are still kind of mad that they, that they didn't do that. But I mean, they've they got to kind of be happy because I mean, wouldn't RC look much better in, with X and Y graphics? I mean, it would, wouldn't it? Yeah, I guess it would be nice to see how in in that 3D ish. Yeah, yeah, 3D. I why yeah. I say 3D ish. If anything, fifth gen was 3D ish because the sprite polygon kind of mix. But yeah, ah, so I really need to it, stop. It did show that it was making its way up there. That's good. Um, yeah, I guess so, you can really say that about any of the gens, to be honest, but... Yeah, next up, uh, what do you think of Horde Battles? Uh, do you, what do you think of them, do you... I think they could either... I guess this falls my first wish of them, you know, making new changes. I, yeah. I think they can either they... be really good or really bad, because it they could... Because de- going throughout Pokemon is kind of, you know, a bore at the moment. So they might, like, diverse fight up, but at the same time, it could also be annoying ha- making sure that you have some multi-hit move in your party. Kind of like the way in the past you'd have to you'd yeah. have that HM move. So it could, because, I mean, I I would just be like this. If I encounter five wild Zubat, I'd just be like, Yes, ah! I'm saying that. Yeah, because, yeah. Zubat, Zubat everywhere. They're probably going to do that this generation. <laughs> I mean, uh, just maybe, imagine wait. the rent. Well, then again, like, with Black 2i2, even though they brought, like, I believe they brought Zubat back, but they just kept it in, like, those sewers. I know with Radita, they were just in the Castelia sewers, so they might be learning yeah. from mistakes. That's why I don't think Black and White 2 should be blamed. I mean, it did bring back what everyone wanted, you know, yes, more bigger great. decks. I loved it. Yeah. And apparently, 5th Gen has a bigger Pokedex than the Kanto Pokedex. It yes. has a total of 156 Pokemon, the, the oh, largest in a gen. So yeah, I know because of that, it has the most Pokemon, like new Pokemon introduced of any other gen. Mm. So how many Pokemon do you reckon they will introduce in the sixth gen? 50, 100, 100? They said over 700 will be like Pokemon will exist now. So I guess the amount the new ones they'll introduce, like I guess a hundred or so. Yeah, about that, because that's usually like. Maybe like seventy-five. About, I'd say about ninety to one hundred. So, yeah. yeah. But uh, um, hopefully it won't like be like the smallest amount of Pokemon because the smallest amount of Pokemon in this gen was the second gen, with only a total of one hundred Pokemon. Like, oh yeah. Dead on, yeah. But um, yeah. So next up, starters. What's your favorite starter? What do you think of the starters? Will they be useful? Thus far, I kind of like all of them. I wouldn't say they're my favorite. My favorite would probably be the Unova starters, but these guys are... Mm. They're, they're good. I, Froakie Fennec- would be my least favorite, even though I still kind of like them. Uh, Chespin, I guess, would be number two. Fennekin would be number one. I guess that's how the most people seem to see it, yeah. what I can tell. Fennekin is, Fennekin is very cute. Um, I do like Fennekin, and I'm definitely picking Fennekin. Just for the fact that if I pick Fennekin... Viola is definitely going down. Yeah. Yeah. Because I kind of wanted to pick Chespin, actually, I guess, because it looks like... Yeah, it, it is looks good. Like the cutest, I so, suppose. Yeah, so Chespin would also be a good choice, since Chespin learns Rollout at level 8. Oh, so yeah. So you can still own, um, own uh, Viola with I that, know. but um, Froki we're not too sure about. I don't yeah. think Froki will be too useful in the gym. Well, so if you pick Froki, like... Yeah. She could have, like, moves that cover her type advantages. Like, what if she has, like, a... Like, what if they introduce another bug rock type this gen? 
A bug and rock type. Yeah, or that was very or unique. Bug water or, you know, some, some other a... thing super effective against fire. There's been a lot of originality in this gen. Yeah, I know. A lot of originality. I mean, they, they've they done a panda, a goat, a wyvern. They've yes. blimming done some really unique types, like electric and normal for Helioptal. And they have the, the talon flame. Yeah, yeah, talon flame is actually getting... It's the... It's the it's Fletcher the evolved. Was just like, at first was just just the generic bird, but now a yeah. talon flame is it's like the, yeah, it's the um epic evolved form of Fletchling. So, but I think the Fletchling will definitely be getting a new another evolution since I don't think that's as extreme as it can get. Yeah. I mean, I bet when people uh they announce like Tranquil, I bet people were like. Oh, that's going to be like the final form. But then they announced Unfazant, and everyone was pleasantly surprised. So I think there is going to be a third one. Plus on the Pokedex, if you look closely, you can see two spots after Fletchling. Oh, I didn't so, that deeply into it. Yeah, so I actually only found that out from a good friend of mine. Um, Bartakami or whatever his name is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, we... Yeah, I, uh, yeah, um... He, I do like his videos. Um, yeah. I, I know I did see him as well. Uh, I, I think I was gonna, what was I gonna mention? He said something about like something, but sorry, I can't remember what I was gonna say. Yeah, but um, it's um, pretty exciting. And what do you think of the new information? They've just been, they've just been launching us, yes. launching us. To... I must admit, after having such a huge drought of news, like, ever since it was revealed... Yeah, uh, just, like, it was, like... They were, like, explosion. nope, you're not getting information yet. Yeah, now it's... Now, there's now, way... now they're just, like, here, take it. Take it. You said you would give us your money, so just take the information. I I, did, I think the new information's kind of ended now. I guess that Pokemon Smash episode, they only revealed that ice would be, like, super effective against... Or a fairy be oh. super effective against ice and yeah, I think that's which like... I kind of find a bit weird, strange. I mean, that yeah, I mean, sense. flying types are weak to ice, I guess, because like the ice would freeze their wings or something. Oh yeah, I was talking about fairy type. What are your opinions on the fairy type? What do you like think? Like, could they make these good, or do you, or do you just reckon that basically, yeah, Sylvian can just, yeah. Um, I think? must admit. Uh, Fairy, um, I didn't expect them to introduce a new type this gen because I thought it might mess up, uh, you know, mess, like, like the current types that they have, um, I guess throwing yeah. a monkey wrench into that, but. Uh, I was expecting the sound type because, I mean, that would have made a bit more sense. I mean, I could see there being the sound type. Yeah, these I mean, are it's an of, element. You know, the, I think a lot of people assume that these are supposed to be, like, elemental types. But yeah, remember, well, fire is not an element, for instance. Even though it's a very common thing in RPGs to see fire as an element, it's a chemical reaction, you know. It's not an, it's well, not yeah. an element. Well, yeah, plus bug and dragon, well, dragon... So I think that the, those can be included in the same category to me. Actually, maybe it could make sense, because, I mean, dragons are mythical creatures as well. Yeah. So it could probably... As are bugs. So, no. uh... What about uh, Xenius and Evolto? Do you know? Do you reckon what type do you reckon they'll be? Because I, I for one, I think Evolto will be um Dark and Dragon. Dark Dragon? I don't really see how either of them can be Dragon, to be honest. I mean, Evolto yeah. looks like a blooming um a big dragon monster eagle. Dragon monster eagle? They're all monsters, technically. You know, pocket yeah. monster. <laughs> but, um. <laughs> I will be honest, because they're using Veltal, I don't quite like them as much as most others. I don't hate them, but I don't really like them as much as a lot of people. Uh, in yeah. terms of their type it, typing, Veltal looks like a uh, fire type to me, and Xerneas just looks like a steel type. But it, it's it's been ha really hard to predict the types of legendaries in the past. Like how would you, like I would assume Lugia, for instance, would be water type the first time I saw it, but it's psychic yeah. flying. Yeah, I know, that really, yeah. I, the first time I saw it, I would have assumed it'd be a fire type, but it's a ground type. So yeah, I, I know. It, or it, Palkia being a water type. It's just logic. Actually, Palkia is a water type. Yeah, I, I know, but I'm saying, on first glance, like, I wouldn't have assumed Palkia would be water type. 
just for I know, it, it really doesn't look like a water type. So but... that's why I, I wouldn't really put too much faith in, like, any prediction I see. For all I know, they could be dragon. Yeah, what I found funny is about Reshiram and Zekrom and Kirem was that they they aren't flying types. Yeah. So, and people actually, assume, I actually assumed them to be flying types because they actually have wings. Ah. Yeah. Xerneas. Uh, well, if Xerneas, since it's seen, like, fly in the air, I do think it is actually pretty likely to be flying type. Oh, um, you mean Eveltal, right? Xerneas oh, sorry, Eveltal, ah. I thought I said Eveltal. Um, Eveltal is the big eagle, and yes, it could be a flying type. I mean, there has been a lot of flying and fire types recently. Uh, yes. I'm just, yeah. I'm just thinking fire because it's a riot. As I said, it can be totally different. It could just be pure dragon type for all I know. Yeah, pure but I, I don't think they're going to announce the types until it like, gets really like um yeah. near the release. Because there's only, like, 100 days left, so... Oh, yeah, I got... Wait, is, like, today, like, the 100th day before it's, like, a release? No, no, it's, um... Uh, I'd say about 117 days to uh, release. I guess... Um, yeah. That's what you... That's what... Well, not until release, but until October, but, um... Yeah, yeah. October is still pretty... Not that far away. Yeah, October 12th. I'm gonna have to add up the days just to see now. It's, like... I mean, that's only, that's under four months, and that'll go pretty fast. Yeah, uh, I must admit, like, back in, like, February, for instance, I was pretty, I was like, oh my goodness, this is so far away, my hype is definitely gonna die down, no, but now it's, it's been, I guess this lack of news did kind of, now we've been yeah. doing all this, I've. Yeah, you know, we were like, we were like, um, we were like this. So, um, we were like this, um, they did this an impression of what we were like. Oh, God. Before they released any new news, we were like this. Is it, is it, was this just a little joke? Have they given up on the project? I mean, it is a 3DS game and it's a pretty hard project. And then they release, um, I'm Sylveon. Hated. And then we're like, and everyone was very excited to see Sylveon. Oh, so I was just telling, so I was, so I said, oh, and everyone was just excited for Sylveon. That's, a, that's my response. Yeah, yeah, cause that, for, cause it took them a month to actually reveal any new information. Well, well, on the eleventh they did announce the legendaries' names, but yeah. I already knew what they were, cause I didn't find out to the eleventh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I was basically, I, I had no idea on the eighth that that was actually going on, and had no idea about. It, but then I got um. I found out on the 11th that there's a new Pokemon game, and I was like, is this even real? Is this actually legit, or is this someone saying made up? I mean, the names X and Y sound a bit weird, but I think it's I like from them. chromosomes. Yeah, um, either because, that or the, like, the 3D structure. Yeah, but, but I think it's more like although, the big chromosomes, the Japanese logo. Because has, but, like yeah, because Bulbapedia did confirm it. It does say, like, the ge- it did say it's the genetic generation, so... We're, Dealing with genetics. Plus, is it just me or do um Xerneas and Eveltal look like um organs or whatever? I mean oh. Eveltal Eveltal looks like a kind of um blood vessel. Oh. Okay. I mean they have got you know that red bit. Yeah. It yeah, looks, yeah. yeah. What does Xerneas look like? Xerneas Xerneas looks like a like it doesn't really look like that, but it looks more like um a combination of two already known Pokemon. Soulsbuck and Verizion. Verizion? Wouldn't that look more green? Yeah, but it's kind of a um a mixture. I mean, it looks similar. I know, I know. <laughs> I mean, yeah, so... Yeah, but I do like the legendary designs, but I do also prefer the 5th gen legendaries. I yeah. suppose. As I said, I do find you them are... a bit... Yeah. Not quite as good as most other people. But yeah, hey, I, just, not bad. I like no. Evolto. It's just Xerneas um, that's. I think Evolto definitely looks a lot more epic than Xerneas, Xerneas does. I do agree, actually. Yeah, although we've never had like a mascot legendary deer, but I'm I'm waiting to see what the third member will be. Maybe a Z Pokemon or a Z Pokemon. Um, I'm actually hoping if they go 
I, I'm really hoping they don't do another third version this gen because now that Basically. now that I've gotten a black two, white two, I don't want to go back to just the third version. So what I do hope you they want do to do is... you want them to either do X two or Y two or W and Z? Z. Yeah, I hope yeah. they do W and Z because that's the other chromosome pair. If they're indeed going with chromosomes, which, as I said, Japanese logo, DNA helix, I think that. Yeah. But yeah, Lots something of like that. Or that. even something even different. Who knows? Yeah. Um. But I wouldn't so find what, another. What about the Mewtwo form? Um. Do you find it appealing? Are you gonna get it, or do? Or how do you think it's gonna like change? Can you just? Do I it will like- admit. Um. I really would have preferred it to be like just its own Pokemon rather than a new form. But uh, but giving like but even then it's not bad. I really like it. It's. I mean I mean Mewtwo Mewtwo it look has Mewtwo has needed a you know Mewtwo Story. has needed a bit of more of a like kind of um a bit more attention. Yeah, like focus in the story. Yeah, in plus, first gen. Actually, plus it wasn't actually um that it isn't that surprising since this is the genetic generation. Yeah, yeah. And and it is called the genetic Pokemon, so maybe we get a maybe maybe like a new form of Deoxys as well. I mean, I would like that. Yeah. A fifth Deoxys form. I, I must like... say, I think they wasted uh, a perfectly good plot with both Mewtwo and Deoxys. God, I can I can say that for a second, but. I, I really wish yeah. they did, because in, in, you know, red and blue, yellow, fire, red, leaf, green, you basically just had, you know, one, du- two dungeons, you know, one where he is just mentioned, and another that's not even required, where it's just like a side pot where you just find him. And of course, mm. Deoxys is just like one event, one island. Yeah. Yeah, and there's no other way to get this th- these days without, like, cheating on Emerald. Well, no, wait, yeah. did but they did give uh, Deoxys out in an event recently for Black 2 White 2. Yeah, but I mean, like, for older Pokemon games, such as... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah you mean, like, having it in the... Like, track. it's Emerald or Fire Red Leaf Green, you just need to get the code, and then... Or, or the warp code, which isn't too hard to find, because they had warp codes back then. Uh, I don't know why they don't do warp codes anymore. But the good thing about X and Y is that there is actually literally no way to cheat the game, so that's kind of good. I mean, really? in, yeah, a, in a way. Some people prefer to play that way. I mean, I don't really like it when they restrict the ways you can play a game. Because remember, different ways of playing appeal to different people, so just because maybe yeah, you don't like cheating or you don't like cheating It's devices. kind of... I, I like cheating devices. I love cheating devices. As long as it doesn't affect multiplayer. Of, I will admit uh, that. As long as it doesn't affect multiplayer. They might, like, develop one, hopefully. I want a cheating device for it, but at the moment, things aren't looking too bright for a cheating device. Yeah. Uh, what it's about 3DS, in actually? A way, in a way, it's kind of... In a way, it's kind of good, because, I mean, then you can at least just have a... At least, you know, play a game the proper way. And maybe after that, I think they should actually, like, develop one. I mean, it would be cool. It would definitely be cool. Yeah, I'm going to see how the, you know, yeah. sometimes I do like to just get a free, like, um, I, I always like to make sure I have, like, legal Pokemon, but if I, I sometimes I don't want to, you know, go for hours making, like, a level 100, you know, and so that's why sometimes I use, like, uh, you know, a battle simulator, like Pokemon Showdown or Pokemon Online, that's why I kind of like those. Yeah, um, Speaking I'm not of- sure that- I'm not sure if they're actually gonna do an update for Pokemon Showdown. Maybe like with the sixth gen Pokemon when they're oh, all right. out and stuff. They may, they maybe the, maybe use the Ken Sugimori artwork. Maybe they should like overhaul it, make it a bit more 3D. You know, it was really fit. I would like a 3D Pokemon Showdown. Huh, maybe I don't know how much work that that might be. Quite like more work than it. I mean. They might be able to do it. I mean, they don't have to work oh, too so. hard. But just make it look kind of look 3D, like an X and Y. 3D-ish, they don't have to like do all the lively reactions. They just have to just get all the backgrounds in and stuff. I hope, and yeah. Then, yeah. It's kind of nice also for EVs and IVs. I actually, I think they said that uh, they It will be more visible. That's, they did say that. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed they didn't cancel those outright because I really don't see how those are... Fun. Well, I guess with the EVs, I guess yeah. distributing. Yeah. So the IVs, I'm not sure if you've heard about this, but what do you think of the uh, 
Eiffel Tower being a Pokemon gym, do you think it's a pretty cool addition? I mean, I kind of thought, I kind of knew that they were going to do something like that. With the Eiffel Tower, yeah. Yeah. Because, of mean, course, it's like the big, you know, yeah, it, and fire. Egg. I mean, either, because I couldn't see any, any kind of gym, and I knew Lumar City would have a gym, so. But, but a bug type gym. Do you reckon, um,. It probably won't be bugged up since the first gym is bugged up. Maybe it could be, I don't know. Um, Man, I, thought, I thought Lumio City, like, that photographer person was, you know, the bug type simulator was the one of Lumio City, I thought. No, um, oh. the touch gym leader, um, is the gym leader Santa Loon City, the first... Oh, like, whoops, okay, major... I confused those two. Sorry. <laughs> the ma- first major city in the game, um, like, you know, do you visit... Bug types are kind of nice for that, actually. They sound kind of threatening, but not yeah. too threatening as your first gym. I mean, it would have been kind of annoying if, like, they had announced, like, I don't know, like, made it, like, a dragon-type yes. gym. Like, That's the first I... gym. That would just be really annoying. And, <laughs> yeah. uh, People yeah, would just be like, why? <laughs> yeah, um, so, I don't know what they're planning to do with Alexa, because it's, uh, Viola's older sister... Maybe she might be an important character. Maybe another rival like N was. Oh. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe she could be part of the new evil team. I don't know. Sorry. They could. They could do loads of things with Alexa. I know. That yeah, they did. Actually, I didn't really consider what she might be doing. I just assumed that she'd be like a side character, but. I think wow. she might be a, some kind of Pokemon I think that just shows trainer. I imagine if I am. <laughs> um, but yeah, but I think they could definitely do some really cool stuff with Alexa. I mean, I would just, I would just love to battle her. I mean, ooh, maybe she could it, be like the new, the head of the new evil team secretly. That would be, cool. uh, yeah, that like, would, that, that would be base. cool. That would definitely be cool. That would just be outside the twist. Either that, or she could be like the champion, and you don't ooh, know it. You're right. Well, she's a journalist, so she does have to juggle two jobs. Well, either way, she has to juggle two jobs, but considering yeah. that every gym leader in X and, and most gym leaders in black, two, white, black and white had to do that, you know. Yeah, I mean, Oda was a wandering trainer, but he was a yes, champion too. at the same time. So. Ah, you're right. I forgot. Maybe she'll be like the same deal where they're just yeah. appointed the champion, but nobody, they didn't really, you know, beat all the... Well, you mean like maybe she gets appointed to champion like Nibby yeah, and like Big- Oda. Either that or, like, maybe Serena or Caleb, depending on gender you pick. They become the champion, like, in Gen 1? Yeah, I definitely. don't know why I sound so excited about that, but for some yeah, reason. Yeah, it, it, it was definitely really cool. I mean, I remember just listening to Gary's theme, I mean. Yes. It, yeah. Blue's theme. Champion yeah. Gary. Champion Gary would like to battle. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. Uh, I just, I just, uh, green theme. Yeah, I just loved, and I loved his remix. <gasps> Are you talking about like Black Two White Two or Fire Red Yeah, Green Black Two White Two. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it kind of like we really was like they really used like the um they really had like pounding themes like shame with the um Hoenn themes in the World Tournament they lost all the trumpets and stuff. I don't know I like them better. I, I like the Hoenn gym yeah. leader. Yeah. Well I do the like the remixes, themes. but I did like the original. But not as I much did... as the original, you say. Because, uh, I mean, the original Ruby and Sapphire had, like, um, it had really, like, they used a lot of trumpets in the original Ruby and Sapphire. I'm going to be honest here. I really didn't like those trumpets that much, so I kind of disagree with you there, but. Yeah, I, 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 I know. Different um, different. It was kind of, although I'll say my favorite theme from Gen 3, and that was the rival theme. I think I think they should do that in this Gen uh, similar. Yes, that's pretty good rival rival theme. Ah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think they could do maybe like a friendly, happy kind of theme like that in X and Y. I mean, and maybe Serena and Callum will get the more you know Gen two rival theme, or you know the Black Two White Two rival theme, where it's a bit more competitive, a bit more. Maybe like um maybe like that, like an yeah, intense yeah. theme. Yeah, yeah. More intense one. Because, I mean, in um, Black and White 2, it really kind of was, like, really intense. Like, it felt like a rival, and you were like, yeah, I must beat you. Yes. I did like Black and White 2's rival, Hugh. He was, like, he was a rival, but he was a Wait, friend at the same time. 
but I, I do, I do. Oh, I me like too. him. As a Some rival. people don't like him since I guess they expected another jerk rival from the old. Yeah, rivals, but... but I mean, you can get friendly rivals that do look badass. Yeah, and I like. I do kind of like his theme. It, um, yeah, I, I will admit, maybe his motivations could have been better than they were. But hey, you know, beating but, Plasma, I mean, avenging I mean, his sister's purloin was a pretty good. Yeah, and he was like, he was like, I must kill you, Team Plasma. And I actually think, even though I kind of like Charon and Bianca from Black and White, I do think that they actually, he was, I like Hugh more than Charon or Bianca. Even mm-hmm. though Charon actually did get, in my opinion, kind of badass in, you know, Black 2 White 2. I mean, yeah, I mean, like, you know, I love the theme, the, um, like, down, now, 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 now. I like the remix in that. I don't know why, but people just don't see a difference in the um, trainer theme. But if you look, you can, if you listen, you can actually hear kind of a little difference in the entrance bit and like going into battle. Oh, see, like, that's what you're like, talking about. Yeah. So, but X and Y could definitely deliver quite a lot like that. I mean, it could be like, yeah, they just definitely like. They, cause I mean, they could make it sound much better since this is on the 3DS. I mean, everyone like wanted it to be on the Nintendo 3DS. Yeah, yeah. Well, a lot of people actually. Okay. I do know what I do see some small subset of people who did want another DS version, but yeah. they. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I think you do have like three years to buy one, but maybe. I don't know. That is yeah. I kind of think. But I guess if you want. I haven't really had much debate with people who want it on the still want it on the DS, so I guess I really don't understand their arguments very well. Yeah, I mean, I mean, people just have to know that. I mean, it's about time that Pokemon moves on. They can't stay on the 3DS any longer. If they had kept on the 3 on the DS, sorry, any longer, they would have really got into trouble because they yeah, really do have to move on. That is basically my main argument. That I would have, that I would have against that viewpoint. Yeah, so I guess I guess it's time to move on, but it does look really good in 3D. I mean, they couldn't have done that with the original DS, so yeah. it's definitely worth getting a 3DS now. I would say so. Um, the battles so do look. The time, so the, the, like they say on the PlayStation, um, but I'm changing it a little bit. The time to buy a 3DS is now. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> yeah, because they always say like the time to buy a PlayStation yeah, yeah, yeah. is now. Yeah. Uh. So, but. Yeah, it's very exciting. I mean, I can't wait to start my Cal- the, my Carlos Region adventure. Can't wait to start my Let's Play. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, you are doing Let's Play, and I might be doing a little surprise for X and Y, possibly. Mm. But I definitely will, like, show, like, me unboxing both versions. Yeah, yeah, I'll watch. Like... I'll yeah, so, both cause... as well, but I'll watch your unboxing when you do it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably do, like, I'll buy X for, like, a Let's Play, and then Y for Who's maybe... Just, like, my other vision so I can, like, play while I'm doing the Let's Play. Yeah. You know, play a bit more, like, when I'm not recording, just, like... Yes, I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. So I know what to do during the Let's Play. I mean, if I get stuck in the cave in the Let's Play and I don't know what to do, well, it might take me a couple of episodes to get out. Yeah. And we don't want that. <laughs> um, it would be pretty boring. Um, yeah, yeah, um... Yeah, so, um... What are your I, I impressions... Want... Pardon oh, sorry. Um, Pardon? Uh, what are your impressions on Go Go, Heliopetal, um, uh, Pancham, um, like all Vivalon? Uh, yeah, those. Vivalon uh, has that. I, I don't know what that meme is. It's not the troll face, but this other like meme of this face looking like really snide. Its face reminds me of that. Hmm. What about uh? What about um? Noivern. Um, that's kind of another Pokemon that I don't really like as much as other people seem to, but it doesn't look bad. I, I will. I, I do like it. Um, if you like it as much as other people do, don't I might, I might, um. I'm not gonna. Maybe they me. might make a more, like, epic dragon, maybe, like Axie or Sank or Haxorus, like, saying like that. Because, I mean, this I is think just. Noivern looks as. Because, I mean, I mean, Noivern looks like a dragon bat. I see. You know, I must admit. Even though, uh, as in general, I kind of like the newer games better than the older ones, I will admit, yeah. like, Gen 4 and before, I kind of like the designs of the dragon types more. Yeah. I quite like them for some reason. But hey, it's not... 
I like mm-hmm. aside from the legendaries in Gen Five, those looked epic. Yeah. Okay. Say, what do you think of Pokemon Ami? Because I hear that it's gonna have effects in battle, like you can oh, dodge no. more, have more critical hits. I hope that doesn't affect the meta, like multiplayer battles, though, because then things can yeah. get kind of cheap. <laughs> if that's the case. Mm. What do you think? Yeah, um, I think it sounds pretty cool. I mean, and from a design I mean, standpoint, it's kind of. I mean, I like the fact that you've got um, like Nintendo plus Pokemon. Yeah, I'm Potter assuming it'll have stuff. some kind of mini game or something. Or... Yeah. So uh, basically, that's all. Most of the information we know. Oh yeah. Um, what do you think of um, Alexa and Viola? Do you reckon they'll be like big characters? Will they? I don't really have that big of an opinion on them, really, to be honest. I mean, there are things we really known about them. All we know about um, Viola is that she's a gym leader. What do you think of, like, the versus screen when you face a gym leader? Oh, yeah. Uh, I-, I like the fact that this... It, so, uh... Yeah, I like that it, like, it's gone a wide screen and gone, like, versus yes, whoever. Yes, that, that. Oh, God, that's good yeah, that they brought that. In the background, you've got, like, icons and... um. And yeah, new backgrounds. That's good. I like the fact that they're more that they're more distinguishable, like from each other than they were in the past games. Yeah. Finally, something I wanted them to do. Yeah. Um... Oh, and, and speaking of online, you know, multiplayer. That I'm, I'm glad you can pick the music now. We're talking about like the aesthetics of the game. Hmm. But sorry if I'm like going off, so, off topic there for a second. Basically, I think that's most All of the stuff we've uh, covered. Um. So. Uh, so you're very excited, I assume. Um, yes, I about X and Y. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a really big ride. I mean, they're really bringing a lot of new and originality to the series. It's gonna be. Yeah, more than in the past, to be honest. I guess my first wish was fulfilled. Wished is two and three of mine have kind of yet to be seen. Two, but... two. Um, I would say Gen Two. I'd say is still a pretty good Gen, even nowadays. I'm I mean, talking about my, my wish two, list. Yeah, oh, but, uh, uh, but, gen. Uh, gen, but Gen 2, you can't really forget. I mean, first gen isn't as good, but Gen 2, I mean... I gen kind of got started... Good. I must admit, I started the series when I was like 10, and which, um, which I think is a good yeah. age, but, you know, like, it was actually a bit older than the other, some other people at my, you know, surroundings yeah. who got into it when they were like 8, so... Um, and I start off with Gen 4, so I guess I'm... Yeah. Uh, so keep in mind, I was going to Gen 2 and 3, like, back, before, like, yeah. afterwards. Yeah, so I right. started, um... After I started I actually, getting... Well, I played before I was 12, but I started on the main series when I was 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because, um, I actually started with Black and White, but before I did play, like... So Pokemon you're also Ranger, going back, okay. But I... Did before I did play Pokemon Ranger and Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Ah, <sighs> uh, good times. Stuff. Yeah. Uh, the Mystery Dungeon's like another subject entirely. Yeah, but um, X and Y is definitely gonna be like one epic adventure. I'm very excited. It's gonna like offer a lot of new stuff and. As I said, my yeah. my first wish seems to be being fulfilled uh, to a very good degree. I think. And then there's yeah. a little bit of evidence of wish, of wish too, also I guess with the new like mug shots and the you know, yeah before you battle. But I think they're gonna really um they're really gonna surprise us. I do so believe I do believe so. Yeah. Sorry, I'm constantly talking in the monotone. Am I talking too loud for future reference? Um. Uh. No. No. You're fine. Um, yeah. You're I hope I wasn't talking perfect. like a monotone like I usually do. <laughs> I hope I'm. Uh, I. I hope okay. I'm. Um, Okay, cool. Um, so we've got like X and Y. Um, we're we're all very excited. I mean, well, except the the Gen and Warners. Um, but yeah, everyone's gonna be like, when it comes out, it's gonna be a really big thing. Yeah, I, I don't yeah. agree with the Gen Warners, but I'm just just sorry, just quickly saying this. But I don't really think like people should act like they have to like the new things. Like if they. I, I don't think they're obligated yeah, but, to like it or voice their that they're obligated to not voice their opinions of. But them. I think I but think I they should them. try the new games because I mean they likely have. Well, people... I mean the Gen Oneers can't just stay on like one like game for the rest of their life. I'm I gonna be should... honest here. I really don't think they should be obligated to not do that. 
Mm. Oh boy, are yeah, we I... having like another big discussion here? Um, but uh, X and Y again. It's gonna be. I mean, Sky Battles, Horde Battles. You got Fairy Type. You got. Yes, they are making some new stuff. They're making some good, like a lot of improvement. I think. Yeah, and probably most likely there'll be good soundtracks and. Yeah, they they said they're going stuff. in a different direction, so I'll see how that works. Yeah, because they did say now with the 3DS they can develop more. Oh, maybe that they just sounds. get like new instruments, but not necessarily. Of course. That Pokemon still have digital sound, so we haven't gone on anime. Like, although, funnily enough, in Pokemon Anime, Pikachu actually does his anime voice. Oh, wait, I didn't notice that the Pokemon yeah, did. Because he said, he says, Pika Pikachu. Yeah, I hope they don't remove that by the final game. He doesn't go like, he doesn't go like this in Pokemon Anime. He doesn't go, go, boom. <laughs> yes, I know. Okay, I actually didn't notice that. Yeah, but um, I hope it's it, not something they remove by like the final uh yeah. product. Yeah, that actually looks a lot different than it did originally. I mean, yeah, especially Lumar City, it looks a lot different than it was originally intended to. Oh, really? So we, but one last thing, what do you think of the new cars? Like cars, roller skates, bicycle. I don't have a strong opinion on them. Sorry to say. Um, yeah. Uh, I guess, as is... I said, it's just, so, uh, it's I guess it's a mild improvement, all I can say. Yeah. That's all I, I'm sorry, do you have any, like, strong opinions on them? Um, I'm kind of excited, I mean, I think the cars will just be NPCs, and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the roller skates will be pretty helpful. I'm not sure if they're going to be usable in Roots, though, so... Yeah. Funnily enough, in Gen 5 and Gen 2, they prom like, in Gen 2, they promised us that Sorry, they, well, I guess they didn't promise, but they said that you'd be able to use a skateboard. And in Gen 5, there are some magazines that promised being able to ride in new vehicles. But that didn't happen there, so maybe they're finally implementing it this gen? Yeah, I think they're actually like... Because, I mean, it's kind of similar to the skateboards, way. skates, they're obviously doing what they should have done before. Yeah, it's kind of like how in Gen 2... There's some unused text in the game that refers to sweet honey. So it might have... So they had the... Yeah, the that's where the four, sweet right? honey... That's where the uh, sweet honey came for Jen. Might have. So. Most likely would have. Yeah, so... X and Y coming out October 12th, 2013. 13. Since a lot of their stuff's come out 2014, I'm happy about that. Yeah, so... um, So, should yes. we... End discussion. Um, yeah, I, 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 know, I know ending things yeah. are always so awkward, yeah. but I think yeah, but um, but yeah. So we talked about X and Y. Um, there, there's it will be most likely that we will be doing another one. Um, probably mainly maybe expanding, maybe like talking about Nintendo in general. Maybe we'll see. I have another. Yeah, so one. maybe like talk or maybe talk about another Nintendo game that like we're excited for. Who knows? Um, I mean, there's been a lot like Super Mario 3D World. Um, even or though we I don't know. Xbox yeah. One drama. Uh, <laughs> or, or, or we could have an Xbox One kind of rant I'm thing. The, yes, I'm getting an evil plan. Maybe we shouldn't die now. No, uh, but also a bit. Yeah, I mean, Xbox One rant would be still pretty cool. I mean, Xbox. There's been a lot of hate. Feel hate for the Xbox One. It's been. It's. Really weird. I don't know. Um, I'm, gonna be on not... I'm gonna be honest. I do think that most of the hate is justified. To be honest. Yeah. So I guess but I can't I... disagree with you that with on that. But yeah. Um. So yeah. Uh. So I guess that's it. Um. So if you are excited for Pokemon X and Y, leave a comment below. Like this video. Um. Uh, you can do the same. Um. And if you're a Nazi, leave leave a uh, dislike, because, you know, people who dislike the video are Nazis. Yeah, um, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> oh, no. um, My horrible that, that's, only, that's only a joke, by the way. Um, no, it's not. Yes, it don't, is. <laughs> don't take that seriously, guys, but, um, yeah, um, so, if you're a troll, just leave a dislike. Yeah, we'll just call them trolls. Yeah, because, um, oh, yeah, one last joke. Remember, people who are on the internet and live under bridges, who are they? Live under the internet and on bridges. Um, no, 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 I mean they trolls. go on. Yeah, trolls. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I um, joke there. yeah. Anyway, 
As always, guys, peace out and Violence you can out. just say goodbye. Yeah. Uh, bye, guys. Recording now. Okay, uh, we're all set to go. Time uh, for our so... rap intro. <laughs> hey, I can't think of anything to say that rhymes at all. I have nothing to. Okay.